Welcome, Boy and Beaumont here. In this short tutorial, we're we'll looking at how to add and delete attributes slash fields to classes slash entity types. It's very short, but quite important. Um, we'll also be looking at how to select a particular data type for each of these attributes slash fields. Hope you enjoy. Bye. Now we're going to add some fields, as we call them in ERD language, or attributes, which we call them in UML. So, we again look at my tutorial, paper-based tutorial. We're going to add three to the travel agent. And to do that, we just click on that little button there. And that little button, if you notice, once you hover over it, it says insert new attribute. Click on that, and it asks for naming. So we're going to call it agent ID. Just click return to add another one, agent underscore name, and the third one, agency underscore phone. Oh yeah, so we've got our three fields for that particular entity type. I noticed I've misspelt the entity there, so I'm just going to correct it. Now we're going to add our attributes or fields to the reservation entity type. So again, click on it, choose the little button, and type in the field names. The first one is code. Next field is a reservation date. And the third one is room type. And click on it. There we are. If we want to delete any of these fields or entity types, we simply do that by going over to this panel here, the containment panel is called, on the left hand side, click on the particular class, or as we're thinking in ERDs, a particular entity type, and choose whichever field we want to, and press delete, and it will delete it. Um, sometimes you have to right click and just make sure you choose delete there. Sometimes your delete key doesn't work, but usually does work. So that's the way to delete it. What we'd actually like to do now is specify the data type for each of these. So it's very simple to do. If we click on the first entity type class, we now open up the specification box, open up the attributes, you can see there and say if we want agency phone to be a particular type of data we just click on the type here and choose string it's just going to be a set of characters there we are string is now standard and we've done the same same agent which we'll choose and string again and then agent name again. And then when we're finished, we just say close. And now we can see those three types of strings. Similarly, we click on this class, click return, or we'll double click on it to bring up the specification box, click on the attributes. Here we are. So we have code, which we're going to class of string again, reservation date, which we're actually going to class as a date type, and finally boom type, which again will class as string. Close, and now we have Our two entity types, association line and the fields with the data types showing. Notice that we could add more detail. And also if it was a correct ERD rather than a cross between an ERD and a class diagram, we'd probably add a foreign key in the reservation entity. So we'd have a reservation foreign key which would be travel agent ID so it probably be represented as 
fk underscore agent ID. Remember always to save your work. So just click on the save icon there. Just do control less. Well, that's it for this short tutorial. We have looked there at adding attributes, editing attributes, and deleting attributes, and also looked at specifying the data type each one should be. Um, we will be looking at next at how to export these diagrams into a Word document, important for assignments. Then we will move on to UML proper, looking at generalization, inheritance, and more complex things. Bye.